Hey guys, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to prove a circle theorem that states that the angle at the center of the circle is twice the angle at the circumference subtended by the same chord or arc. So the angle at the center of the circle is twice the size of the angle at the circumference because they're being supported by the same arc in this case. It can be also supported by a chord, but in this case, it's been supported by an arc. So this just means that if the angle at the center is 80 degrees, then it would mean that the angle at the circumference would be 40 degrees because they are being supported by the same arc. So we're going to go ahead and prove this theorem. So we have the proof that angle AOB, the angle at the center, is twice the size of the angle ACB. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to construct something. We're going to join the line CO and we're going to go ahead and extend it to a new point and let's just call this point P. Make sure you also write this down and show any constructions that you have made. So now what we have done is that we have created two triangles. We've created a triangle OAC and we have created a triangle OBC. Along with creating two triangles, we have also split the angle at the center into two parts. So we can call this part O1 and this part O2. Likewise, we can call this part C1 and this part C2. In the triangle OAC, we see that we have an exterior angle. The angle O1 is the exterior angle of this triangle. And remember, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So it's the angle C1 plus angle A that will give us the angle O1. And so we're going to put that down. Angle O1 is equal to angle C1 plus angle A. And the reason for that is the exterior angle of a triangle. In this triangle again, OAC, you'll see that OA is a radius and OC is also a radius. And that would mean that they are equal in length. So we can go ahead and say that OC is equal to OA and this is because they are equal radii. Because they are equal, that will also mean that the angles A and C1 would be equal because the angles that lie opposite equal sides are equal. So therefore, this means that angle C1 is equal to angle A and our reason angles opposite equal sides are equal. Since these two angles are equal, we can rewrite this equation and say therefore that angle O1 is now equal to angle C1 plus, and instead of saying angle A, we'll replace that with C1 since angle A is equal to angle C1. So it's equal to angle C1 as well. And so this means that angle O1 is equal to two angle C1. The reason we are focusing on angle C1 instead of angle A is because what we are required to prove is that AOB is equal to twice the size of ACB. And ACB is speaking about angle C, so we're trying to focus on angle C. And then in the next triangle, OBC, okay, so in uh, triangle OBC, we see that angle O2 is also the exterior angle of this triangle. And so it will be equal to the sum of C2 and angle B. So we have angle O2 being equal to angle C2 plus angle B. And the reason is the same, the exterior angle of a triangle. But again, in this triangle, we see that line OB is a radius and so is OC. And so they'll be equal in length. So we can go ahead and say that OB is equal to OC because they are equal radii. And because they are equal, their base angles would also be equal. So angle B is equal to angle C2 because they are angles that lie opposite equal sides. So Therefore, angle C2 is equal to angle B because angles opposite equal sides are equal. 
and so we can also go ahead and rewrite this equation and say angle O2 is actually equal to angle C2 and then we're going to plus angle B but we're going to replace angle B with angle C2 since angle B is equal to angle C2 so plus angle C2 and so this therefore means that angle O2 is equal to 2 angle C2 okay now that we have those in the diagram you'll notice that angle O1 and angle O2 make up the angle AOB that we're trying to find so we're going to go ahead and join them together so we'll say angle O1 plus angle O2 and let's see what they're equal to so we already had that angle O1 is equal to 2 angle C2 so 2 angle C sorry 2 angle C1 plus angle O2 is equal to 2 angle C2 and so this is what we have but remember O1 and O2 being added together they make up the angle AOB so we can just replace it with that we can say that AOB is equal to and then over here we have 2C1 plus 2C2 we see that there is a common factor of 2 and so we can take 2 out as a common factor and so we will have angle C1 plus angle C2 in the diagram you will notice that angle C1 plus angle C2 make up the angle ACB so in place of C1 plus C2 we will replace it with ACB so angle AOB is actually equal to 2 ACB and that is the proof of the theorem so the angle at the center of the circle is equal to twice the angle at the circumference because they are being supported by the same arc